Hi friends and welcome to Beauty Boomer. If you're here for the first time, my name's Rose and if you're a new or a returning subscriber, I really appreciate your support. This is going to be a very quick video in the spirit of Wayne Goss and if you don't know who he is, I'm going to link his channel down below. But I wanted to talk about putting a primer on an aging eyelid. You know, you'll see what I'm talking about as the video continues. The other thing that I wanted to share with you is I was at Target over the weekend and across from the cashier in the juniors department they had a rack of like gift ideas and on the back of the rack they had all these BH Cosmetics palettes this is a 26 color eyeshadow and blush kit it was $16 now I've never used BH Cosmetics before I wanted to try them as an alternative to Morphe I don't care for Morphe eyeshadows I well I can't really say I don't care for their eyeshadows I don't care for their ethics and I uh, don't like to support them. So I wanted to find a less expensive uh, eyeshadow alternative for some people who cannot afford the more high-end or even mid-level products. I want makeup to be accessible to all income ranges. So I found this palette. I did my look with it today. It came out very good. It was blendable. First impressions, I gave it a thumbs up. And, uh, but the main thing is I want to sh uh, start sharing little tips with you as they come up into my head. So uh, this is about eyeshadow primer for the aging lid. So one of the things that I've noticed, I watch a lot of YouTube videos and not everyone is in my age range. I understand that. And so with that, I wanted to talk to you about using concealers or a uh, paint pot. I use the Painterly Paint Pot by MAC as a primer. And a lot of times what I see is uh, the younger beauty gurus taking their concealer and it's still on the wand and they're just painting their lid. That does not work for an aging eye. Uh, so I wanted to show you a tip that I learned uh, from MAC Cosmetics when I went and I had my, my makeup professionally done. If you haven't seen that video, I can link it down below. But get yourself a dual fiber brush. This is the MAC 286S. How you tell a brush is dual fiber is it has usually black and white uh, bristles. That means that you can use it as a uh, brush for cream products or for powder products. So get yourself a little dual fiber. It doesn't have to be a MAC and you don't have to use paint pot. If you're using concealer as an eye primer, just take it off the tip and, and blot it a little bit. You don't need a lot. So just take a little bit and just finesse it onto your eye. That is all you need. If you dip your finger into this, I'll show you on this eye, you're going to get way too much product. And if you don't blend it really, really good, see, so all this time I'm pulling on my eye and it's already crepey, so who needs that? And then you have to pat it. Meanwhile, this eye is completely dry already. So a lot of times what you'll find is you'll put <clears throat> your primer on your lid and then you'll wonder why your eyeshadow is patchy because you have too much primer on your lid and it's not dry. So uh, that is my one tip for today. Um, kind of in the spirit of Wayne Goss, I'm trying to figure out some tips that I can give you to... Uh, have you have a more successful makeup day. I hope you found this tip useful and if you like to see more of these little tips and mini videos just give me a thumbs up or drop a comment down below. I really appreciate getting your feedback. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time. Bye!